This is a Skywatcher Skymax 150mm uh, Maxatov telescope. Uh, it's around 7 kg with uh, diagonal eyepiece and uh, finder. This finder I've added on my own. And uh, it's a right angle finder, so easy to look at. But the problem with this uh, telescope and everywhere I have seen is that they say that it needs a very robust heavier mount like EQ5 or above. I tried, I read in one of the uh, astronomy uh, forums that actually you can use the tripod for a sky watcher uh, flex tube. Uh, the Psonian mount. I'll show you the telescope itself, the box of it. You will remember. That's the telescope I'm referring to. And for the International Year of Astronomy 2009, a special edition. This Dapsonian mount here that you can see at the center is the one I'm using. I must say, it looks quite impressive on this mount. And. Uh, the only worry is that uh, will it actually take a long time to dampen the vibrations that uh, happen when you touch the telescope or a mount or can it do it quick enough in under four minutes four seconds sorry okay as you can see i can turn the mount can move the tube up and down. It's quite a heavy beast. Uh, it's beautiful. And um, yeah, I may have found the solution for this uh, the mount of this telescope. Uh, the, the thing is that when you have a telescope, a heavy weight, anything, at a height, that introduces vibration naturally. So if you get it lower, the vibration will be reduced. The height of it is less. So let's hope that this will work. Okay, this is the eyepiece that came with this telescope. It's lightweight, but it's two inch. So the good thing about this also is that this is two inch, the barrel and the diagonal. So let me install it and see how it is. The, the eyepiece is lightweight. This one is lightweight. I have heavier than that, with half a kilo or more. So it's better to use a lightweight one just to see how it is. Okay, I've now installed the eyepiece. And uh, of course, uh, I have to remove the lens cap, the front cap. You can take a look here. The telescope is not balanced at this stage. So I'm going now to move it along so to make it a little bit balanced. Okay, the eyepiece added some weight to it, so I had to balance it. I moved it slightly toward this direction, so the weight in this direction will be equal to the weight this direction. That's the fulcrum, uh, the center of the gravity, you can call it also. And hopefully that will stay, so I can move it up and down, and to the left and right. So let me target something. Okay, I've now installed my Max Vision uh, 68 degrees 34 millimeter uh, eyepiece. It has a very wide uh, viewing angle. I was, I was really impressed with the image quality on this one. I'm holding the camera. I'm looking forward. That shows the difference between a cheap eyepiece and a good quality eyepiece.
so I think I will use the Max Vision with this. It goes better, it gives a better result. Looks heavier, adds at least uh, <laughs> half a kilo to the weight. But what the heck, that's a good, good, good telescope, needs good eyepiece. The telescope is as, is as good as his eyepiece and mount and optical and collimation and everything else. <laughs> Is a mad hobby. <laughs>